Assessment refers to a variety of methods educators use to evaluate, measure, and document the academic readiness, learning progress, and skill acquisition of students. Assessment comes in many forms and types. However, two main types of assessments utilized are formative and summative assessments. Formative assessments are ongoing and incorporated into lessons often through an informal process. Impromptu quizzes, classroom polls, portfolios, and teacher observation of students are all examples of formative assessments. On the other hand, summative assessments are fixed and incorporated at the end of a lesson or unit through a formal, structured process. Examples of summative assessments include an end-of-year test given to students and a standardized math test. Assessments implemented in online environments can be more challenging compared to those conducted in face-to-face -face environments. For instance, face-to-face -face assessment provides teachers the opportunity to informally assess student facial expressions or observe students as they complete work. In online environments, students and teachers do not share the same physical space, changing the way assessment is implemented. It is important that teachers identify the purpose of assessment, as purpose influences the choice of assessment items. Face-to-face -face and online learning environments share common assessment purposes. Assessments in both environments propel instruction by evaluating the knowledge and skill levels of students. They also determine the baseline for where instruction should begin. Often, assessments are also conducted for identification or a diagnosis. However, the methods of supporting the purpose of assessments often vary in face-to-face -face and online learning. It can be beneficial to utilize a range of strategies and tools, both for formal and informal assessments and blended and online teaching. Informal assessments might include entrance and exit tickets or questionnaires, real-time assessments that are conducted live, and peer review and teaching. For instance, if teachers want to get a sense of students' ongoing progress in an engaging way, the tool Kahoot! can be used for game-based entrance and exit ticket activities. Online tools like Mentimeter and quizzes can serve as real-time assessments, as students can take part in interactive questions or polls with the option for teachers to provide live feedback. The tool Flipgrid can be utilized for peer review and teaching, as it promotes video responses and discussions between students. Formal assessments might include measuring students' progress and mastery through various tools and apps, and using district, state, or national benchmarking tools. Google or Microsoft Forms can be used to collect students' responses on various types of questions to facilitate mastery-based assessments. District-determined assessments platforms like Edulastic and IXL are for evaluating students' progress and mastery and provide a wide range of assessment tools and samples to help teachers prepare their assessment items. Additionally, WIDA, SAT, and NWEA are examples of assessment tools that are used for national benchmark assessments. Utilizing these assessment strategies and tools will make both formative and summative assessment processes more effective for teachers in online or blended learning environments. Additional resources on assessment in blended and online learning are available on this webpage. Resources include a printable summary, related examples, articles, blogs, infographics, and videos, and links to other related blended and online teaching hub topics.